Hey guys, Rich here with Brotherhood Reviews, and we're back talking about One Piece chapter 1065, and this chapter is a banger. Vegapunk sh uh, puts the Straw Hats through a test. The Straw Hats find some very, very ancient weapons. <laughs> No pun intended, but before we get into the chapter breakdown, I hope you guys enjoyed breakdowns like this, and I hope you like, comment, and subscribe for more, um, but let's get into it. We have the Straw Hats that stayed on the boat talking to Caribou, and pretty much uh, Zoro and Brooke both say like, oh, you're still here, like, you're supposed to get off, like... Why are you here? <laughs> Pretty much where we're at. Um, the rest of the Straw Hats go into the laboratory. And inside the laboratory, they find a pacifista that looks like Jinbei. That pacifista ends up attacking them. They end up defending themselves. Um, all because he wants to choke up uh, Nami. And Nami, everybody starts wilding. Nobody is having it. None of that. You're Nami of all people. You you wanna you wanna mess with? All right, we're all taking you down. Um, once it starts getting too out of hand, also, uh, the pacifista not only has Jimbei looks like Jimbei, bites like Jimbei. He has um Senor Pink's devil fruit, and that is a game changer the fact that they have devil fruits of somebody that has a devil fruit unless to my knowledge senior pink is still alive unless you know somebody lets me know down in the comments below but last i checked he he's still alive so that means vegapunk can really replicate devil fruits um now once Every all the commotion is settled. We actually get introduced to Pythagoras, um, York, and uh, we meet Pythagoras, Shaki, and York. And we already met, uh, obviously, Lilith is still there, and we already met, um, Atlas. And, um, the other one, whatever I keep, I keep forgetting them, but, um, we, we finally meet the rest of Vegapunks, the Vegapunks, except for the main body, which hopefully we get to see soon. We see the rest of the Vegapunks, uh, and pretty much Shocky steps in, stops Lilith, he, Lilith and Pythagoras from getting any more data. They're upset about it. And Frankie starts fanboying out as he has been this whole chapter. And he pretty much tells Vegapunk like, oh, I love this futuristic island. And how did it become like this? And they're just asking questions about, you know, how is this the future island? And Vegapunk pretty much tells them like, well, this isn't this is an island of the past this is very this is a very primitive island pretty much um and he says uh well shocky says because i don't know if this one's a boy or a girl most of them's been girls except for that last row two robots but um shocky says like what if i told you that there was an even more advanced kingdom 900 years ago so like and then simultaneously as this is happening luffy jimbei bonnie and chopper find this giant robot bigger than uh bigger than the vega force one inside inside the junkyard and like the technology is way more advanced than anything on that island they said and every and and it's ancient it's a, it seems like thousands of years old so they're like they're like this is, doesn't make any sense so like the thing slash watching a dystopian manga this whole time one piece is a dystopian manga 
we are we are set back you know because of whatever happened a thousand years ago almost a thousand years ago the whole world was stripped of all its technology and put back into a primitive state and obviously i feel like it wasn't always like that because like obviously there was more islands have their own ecosystems technologies all that but i feel like with the kingdom gone that obviously the knowledge of of everything just kept getting lost in time so and then the the world government was killing anybody that knew anything about it so what better way for people to forget that there's a way more advanced technology out there than to eradicate all the people that know about it um but that's for another video i'm doing a whole separate video on that and it's going to be a rant it's not even going to be written it's going to be me going on probably about 10 minutes about it but um this chapter was amazing so much information we got this this is probably the most important chapter so far of one piece like the information that we got in this chapter is so next level it's unbelievable but i hope you guys enjoyed it as, as much as i did and i hope you guys have a good day time night whenever you guys are listening to this thank you